The Napping House by Audrey Wood, illustrated by Don Wood. Presenter, Debbie Lil. Publisher, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, Boston, New York. There is the house, the napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in the house, there's a bed, a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog, there's a cat, a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there's a mouse, a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wafer flea? On a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse, who scares the cat, who claws the dog, who thumps the child, who bumps the granny, who breaks the bed. In the napping house where no one now is sleeping. The end. What an interesting story. Dr. Seuss said, "The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you will go." I'm Teacher Debbie Lo. I'll see you all next time.